Hey people, this is Monster Dad, and welcome to my channel and episode 2 of our island adventure. As you can see here, Bluebeard's a happy chappy. He's set up with iron, cloth, and pretty much everything he needs to get on with things. Okay, that's enough Gangnam, I think. Looks like we've got a bit of a storm today. If you haven't played this game yet, some of the uh, the weather graphics are pretty cool. I love the way the water gets rough as well. Trees are swaying and usually you can see some lightning as well. I don't think we're going to see any lightning today. But that's pretty cool too. So today, as you can see, changed a little bit from last time. I did a little bit of work off camera. Um, really just to get rid of some of the the less exciting stuff I built a little shelter over or a little cover over this work area um, last time we put in this tailoring area put in this um, blacksmith area and I put this cover over it especially because of this kind of weather because heavy rain will put out fires uh, exposed fires that is so the fire like your campfire your forge it won't put out a kiln or a furnace because they're covered, but it will put these out. So it's always worthwhile just building a shelter over your um, your workstations. And it's diff you can't actually sleep in heavy weather, heavy weather either, unless you're under cover. So well worth doing. And as I say, if you start on a tropical island, bamboo, fantastic medium to start building with, um, because wood's quite difficult to work with until you can get yourself a saw. And speaking of which... I did use some of my iron. As you can see, got myself some iron armour. And to forge the iron armour, you can forge a helmet and boots with just iron ingots. You actually need one piece of cloth for each of the pants and the iron armour. Oh, the storm subsiding. Cool. Hopefully your sun will come out. I changed all my tools and weapons to iron. Got myself a sword, iron crossbow. As you can see, I've been using my axe. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, yep, got rid of all the, the wooden ones, just destroyed those, and the stone ones, destroyed those. Um, so we now we've got that. One thing I would recommend, once you go into iron tools, is to make yourself some repair kits. Because they will wear down fairly quickly, especially the saw, once you start working with wood. <clears throat> and the knife wears down a lot as well. And rather than, rather than waste iron ingots crafting new ones all the time you can actually make yourself some repair kits and as you can see a bit of grass to make some rope some wooden pieces and a stick which you can gra grab straight from the nearest tree um, and you just use the use a hammer that you've got in your inventory and you can make those and I think they make five at a time well worth having a few of those in your inventory when you start working with iron okay so as well as build a little bit of a shelter I did get some other stuff done. Um, I did a lot of harvesting. Uh, it, it can be a bit of a grind harvesting because you need a lot of resources to build things in this game, especially wood. And you probably can't tell from here, but that rainforest over there has been moved back by probably about a quarter of its original size, or I've been chopping down trees. I planted some bamboo there and there, <clears throat> in case we need some more. Did plant quite a lot of cotton and I've used a lot of it already because I prepared some some cloth or something planted some aloe vera and as I mentioned before aloe vera I don't have any here but if I let's pick I think you pick leave, three leaves at a time what you can do is pop that into your pestle and mortar uh, what does it come under I wonder I think it's just miscellaneous yeah you can make a poultice so we'll craft that <clears throat> and that can help towards healing and if you do have a bandage and I found that one in a little campsite you can combine your bandage and your poultice to make an aloe vera bandage saves in inventory space as well as better healing it's well worth doing that okay so the plan today is to build a ship and I really want to get that done straight away because it's always exciting to do that. 
Um, and also, as I was walking along the coast, gathering more cotton plants, there's another area just a bit further around the coast there that actually is a way better spot than this to, to build our long-term base. It's not really a problem moving this stuff. We can't move it. It's not really a problem losing all this stuff because you don't really lose a lot. A bit of clay, a few iron ingots, you know, some wood. It's, it's easy to replace and there's quite a lot of clay on this island. So what I've done with this cotton, I, I promised I'd show you the best way to use your cotton plants. And I'll just grab some cotton plants that I'd saved, just especially for this moment. So what I'd recommend you do is, once you've got your initial cloth and yarn needs, two pieces of cloth to make your iron armour, one piece of yarn to make your sewing kit, Break the rest of it into seeds, and as I mentioned before, if well, there's another storm coming in, press left control and then left click break, and you'll be able to do all of them at the same time. And as you can see, they're turning to seeds, and you get three seeds per plant. So for each plant, you can get three more plants from it. And as I said, it takes nine plants to actually create one bolt of cloth, so you do use a lot of cotton. Now, there's two ways you can plant. You can plant it in rows or you can plant it on top of each other as I've done here. What I tend to do is, is leave the planting in rows for a decorative feature. So if I, and one of the things I'd like to do with this one, because we've got pineapple and, and bananas on this island as well, is make sort of a, a plantation house and have a plantation around it of pineapple, cotton, bananas, and for that sort of decorative feature, I'll plant it in rows and make it look like a proper plantation. But for the purposes of just harvesting stuff, it's far easier if you just plant them straight on top of each other. And when you do that, they grow as they have done on the right there. And they look, it looks pretty cool, actually. But it saves you a lot of space. It's just a game mechanic. It's not cheating. Um, but as I say, as a decorative feature, I'd plant them in rows to make it look like a proper plantation. For practical purposes, for harvesting stuff, I plant like this. Um, I don't do it with trees though, because I've discovered that although you can plant them like this with trees, and they grow all in one spot, which is really handy for space, the problem with that is when you start cutting them down, sometimes, especially the taller trees, they won't fall over. And then when you chop that tree into logs there's there's no real effect of gravity in this game when it comes to floating items um, so you'll get a lot of floating high floating logs sticks wooden pieces seeds resin bark and and until you either get the helicopter the helicopter backpack or you build yourself a very very big platform to get up there it just stays there floating in the air and it, it doesn't look very nice so I tend to plant the trees fairly close to each other but but apart um, so I'm going to carry on planting these and I'll get back to you as soon as I finish it oh we've got some lightning okay I'll get back to you in a moment later okay I've finished planting those and uh, it's now dark and we've got a major storm again where's that lightning lightning oh there we go that looks pretty cool if we'd see it again. It's everywhere I don't look. Oh, just saw it over there. Okay, well, I'm gonna have some supper and get my head down. And then hopefully in the morning it will be nicer weather. Okay. What have we got this morning then? Oh, that's better. Much nicer. Cool. Okay, before we build our ship, one thing I recommend that you always do is make sure you build a map. Because it will be difficult to find your way back to the island if you don't have one. It's also useful to have the map when you um, to map the island you're on and to map any other islands you get because the maps will show the resources on the map as well. So let's make a map. So to make a map, 
you need one piece of charcoal which you can just make in the in the kiln from the firewood that you've got I already made here's one I prepared earlier as I say on Blue Peter if anyone can remember that show so with the charcoal and some wood what I can do is make a pencil okay so I'll make that and what I need now is a piece of leather which I should have some spare yep I need only one piece let's put three of them back so with that piece of leather I can now make a blank leather sheet and now that I have a blank leather sheet and a writing tool which is the pencil I can make my map and unlike Minecraft you don't have to have the map in your hand when you explore for it to reveal the map as long as you've got the map in your inventory it will map wherever you go um, what you can do now is get rid of the broken pencil because you don't need that in your inventory anymore so the map I tend to keep the map on my hotbar just so I can refer to it every now and then and so we just highlight the map left click and these sort of straight edge are just a little glitch in the game it is an alpha game there will be a few bugs in it be prepared for that um, but it will reveal at some point there we go as you move the map around so at the moment that's what we can see so very important to build that map before you to set sail on a ship or a boat because you will get lost okay so what I want to do today also is is map this island but I guess that could wait until we got back or well until we finish the ship I should say um, because I'd really like to actually build a ship and show you how to build a ship so to do that as I said at the earlier um, at the beginning of the episode I did a lot of resource gathering between episodes so in this bamboo chest here I have everything I need to build our ship so it's not a lot of different resources but you need a lot of resources so I've got 169 logs there for example the other 10 logs that I already have in my inventory is to build a raft so that we can get out into the deeper water so we can actually build it and we can get to and from the ship from that so let's move all of this into our inventory and you also need 20 cloth which is probably the the, the most time consuming bit apart from chopping down tons of trees growing the cotton that's nah, beginning to grow already look growing the cotton and turn that into cloth is probably one of the most time consuming aspects of it so crafting a ship let's have a look at what we need so there are there's a small sailboat but we're going to ignore that you've got two types of ship you've got a large ship and just the ordinary ship and we're just going to build the ordinary one I'm not going to bother with a large one at the moment um, this, this small one is well, it's not small is it the regular ship is, is perfectly adequate for what we need to do so I haven't made any planks yet but this is why I've got the logs so first of all let's make 50 planks for that and you make these in batches of five okay so that's 50 planks we got those there cool so we'll see what else we need we need ship helm so we don't need any planks for that I've got the rope I have the nails and I have the logs so we don't need to make anything in particular for that we want the the hull aft because it makes the ship look nice you don't need this to sell the ship you could just put this ship hull down put a helm and a mast and it would sail perfectly fine um, but to make it look a bit nicer I might as well put these on so I need another 20 planks for that one and there's this ship 4 and I'll need another 20 planks for that one so I need 40 more planks so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 okay so we've got 90 planks now let's go back make sure we've got everything um, so the other thing we need is a mast and what I'm going to do is put 
two large masts on this. Um, may seem a bit overkill, but it does really speed the, sh the ship up a lot. Um, if you put more than one mast on it, you could just put. I mean, I think this is the mast that's meant to be with this with the regular ship, but you know, you can fit two of these on. I I would personally recommend that. And the main thing that needs is four massive logs, which I think are ten ordinary logs for each one, or eight ordinary logs. Let's see, massive log, eight ordinary logs. So we need. We only make one of those at a time, so we need eight of those if we're going to have two masts. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got our eight massive logs, we've got our 90 planks, we've got 150 nails, we've got 97 logs left over, 10 of which are going to be for a raft, which we'll go and put down, down in the water right now. So, craft, raft. See, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Oh, you could actually make a bamboo raft. I didn't know that. That would have saved our log resources. And do you know what? I'm going to do that because logs are, st are very time consuming to get hold of. And I've got a ton of bamboo sticks. And the reason I've got the bamboo sticks is because I want to put some storage chests on the deck of the, the ship. That way when we do... Let's move them all over actually. That way when we do actually go out and find another island. If there's some resources we want to collect, we've got plenty of storage for it. As I said, inventory management is crucial in this game. So, craft the raft. Cool. So let's just... Boom one raft for the use of and with the raft you just move up to it right click on it and you'll get on it and you instantly appear with a little paddle and then you can you just use your WASD keys to move around let's just get it onto the shore a bit and then just right click to unmount so we've got all of our resources for our ship Yep, and we got enough bamboo to make our chests. Let's head to a, an appropriate bit of water and build this thing. Now, as I mentioned in the last episode, ideally with your base, you want to get to this deeper level of water really quickly. That way you don't have to build a really long dock. And then when you build the bigger ship, you should be okay. The sort of level here where I'm where I'm over at the moment is the level that would probably ground even the ship that we got, even the regular ship, the large ship, it most definitely ground that. So you've got to be careful coming into other islands as well. Oops, wrong button, sorry. So we'll just go out a bit, make sure we're not near any shallows. Watch out for nobbies. So we don't get our legs munched. And we should be good there. Yeah. Okay, so if we right click, we should just stand on the raft. Brilliant. And from here we can put down the, the ship hull. So crafting. Oh, I'm in food. I won't find I won't find a ship in the food tab. Unless it's fish and ships. See what I did there? Comedy genius. That's what it is. Comedy genius. Okay, let's get our ship. And there are two variants. There's the, the brown wood like that. Or, if you press R, you can get the white. And I really like the white one. Um, let's have a nice posh yacht, shall we? So, let's just... We should be good to go there. Perfect. Cool. Let's go up to the ladder and get on board. I'm going to drop the anchor so we don't start moving around. And let's pop the other bits of the ship down. So first of all, let's, let's pop the, the ship hull aft. And... It, oh, it's doing this again, is it? Let's 
I'm not sure why it does this this glitch. When you try and put a piece of the the ship superstructure on it, it it starts moving the ship hull around and will eventually sink it like that. In a few of my games, I've built ships. Sometimes this has happened. Sometimes it hasn't. And I just want to know if there's a easy way to get around this. So I'll be back in a moment. Later. Hi, right, welcome back. Very strange fix for this one, and I'll, I'll just show you it in case you also encounter this. I'll just cancel that. And the way I fixed it was I went to first person by pressing C. I don't know if that's important or not, but that's what I did. Place a log anywhere, just an ordinary log. It has to be a log as well. Just place that down. Oops. One button, sorry. Then pick it up before it sets, and that fixes it. You can now place your ship parts. Strange, but you know, it works. So I'm going to remember to press R to change this to the white variant. Um, I don't know if I can place it in. Yeah, I want to get out of first person because I want to be able to place it just right on the back. So. I think there. How does that look? I think that's good. So let's do the forecastle. Cool. And it's the wrong way around. So F to turn things around. Let's check, place up, press R to change the variant. And I think. That's looking good. Yeah, we'll go with that. Cool. Um, and I'm going to place... I'm going to go into first person for this. Place our ship's wheel. I think here. And we'll change the variant as well again. I can never remember which way around this goes. So... There we go, it's got to be that way, with the wheel facing us here, so try and get it sort of central. Do you know what, it probably is easier out of first person, isn't it? And get it centred better. Just try and line it up with the anchor switch there. That look about right. We'll go, so we go one more. Yep, leaves plenty of room for the masts. I guess we can just test that before it sets. If we take up the anchor, I know we have no sails, but we should be able to move the ship backwards. So right click to control the ship. Yep. Okay, right click to get off that again. Let's put the anchor down again. Now the only thing left to do is put the masts on. So these are big masts, so they'll take up a bit of space. Mast number one, and these are the large masts we're going for. Is there a variant on this one? Yes, there is. Let's do that. I'm not sure what it changed. It must be the color of the sails it changed, because I can't see. Is that central? Or is that central? Really difficult to tell. Neither of them look centered, do they? Let's go into first person and see if it's easier this way. I think that's center, isn't it? Let's stick one right near the anchor chain. Oh, they've changed it to a black sail. Oh, that's cool. Let's do. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, sewing kit. I suspected that might happen, so I did prepare another piece of yarn as a spare. Eee. What about the white arrow? She got a nice pointy front, like an arrow. She's white. Like 
the colour white. Pointy, like an arrow. The white arrow. Large mast. Let's go. We'll change the variant. And I think we could probably go for right there, can't we? Uh, so we'll go one more. Yep. Yeah. Boom. We're in business. Very cool. Should we take her out for a quick spin? See how she sails? Let's weigh the anchor. Take control, so let's just reverse out slightly first. And when you reverse, you don't need the sails. I'm starving. You're always hungry, Bluebeard. I think you're going to have to change your name from Bluebeard to something to do with hunger, which escapes me at the moment. I'm sure I'll be able to think of something suitably sarcastic. Slow to reverse, but with these two sails, it should be pretty fast to, to sail forward. Okay, so that should do us. So W will bring the sails down by half. W again will get them all the way down. Oh, and that really moves. With one of the small masts on this, just one mast, it's, it's pretty slow and tedious. These two big sails make this a bit nippy. So we're getting a little bit low on time with this episode now. Um, so we're probably not going to have time to... Oh, I've left the raft out in the water. Never mind, I'm sure we'll be able to recover that at some point. Um, I, I don't think we're going to have time to go and explore for a new island. Um, we'll definitely do that in the next episode. And I'll give you some hints and tips on the best way and the quickest way to find another island. Yeah, this is pretty nippy. I like this ship. Yeah, the White Arrow. Let's call her the White Arrow. Oh, hey birdie. A bit tired, are you? Getting a free ride? Oh, I think we just must have hit some shallow sandbank there. Frightened off our passenger as well. So yeah, you can just see this sort of like shallow areas like that. Try and avoid those if possible. If you get into a big patch of it, you could actually ground the ship permanently. And if I just let go of the wheel, you can. The ship will still sail in a straight line when you you're not on the wheel. I just want to check the map. Hmm, why is that? I wonder why it didn't map that area. Strange. But it will map as you sail along as well, mostly. Let's take control of the ship again. There's a floating thing up there. I think we saw that in the last episode, possibly. Um, you can get up to those at some point, but if you do, I, I, I'm led to believe that you can get electrocuted and die. So it wasn't this bit here. I think it was around the next little bit of headland here, which I think was a good spot. That bit over there was still a little bit hilly. But this area has got a nice sort of bay area, fairly deep water, and a relatively flat area, um, and a, a, a gentle slope going up to the hills behind it. And what I'd like to do, as I said earlier, is build like a plantation building like a traditional plantation and then have plantations of pineapple, bananas, cotton, fields of that. But we're going to need a fairly big open area for that. And the, the area we're in at the moment probably wouldn't be suitable. Horses? We'll have to get a stables as well at some point. Get a few horses and put them in there. I think horses are still glitched a little bit, uh, particularly in multiplayer. Right, I think it's, we're just coming up to this area now, actually. Is that, I'm sure it's this area with this little 
tiny little island in the middle of the bay. That's it, it's all rendering in now. Good. So we should be able to get fairly close in. Because I think it was quite deep water most of the way through here. Yeah. Bit of turn. We hit that shallow bit. Ooh, ooh, quick turn, 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 turn. Look at that. Turns on a dime. Ooh, that was close. Let's put sails up. Anchors away. Oh, there's a big sandbank there. We should be okay, actually, getting out of there. So it's this area here. Um, if you imagine this area without those, without that bamboo forest and those trees, you've got a relatively flat area all the way around this bay, and I think that would be a great spot for a permanent base. Yeah, now I've had a second look at it, I'm, I'm absolutely certain. And we can make a nice harbour here as well, probably just coming off of this bit here, straight into the deep water. Perfect. I think that will be excellent. Okay, well we might as well sail back now. We don't really have time to find another island today. I, I guess I better eat something first because I'm going to start losing health soon. What have I got? Some bread. One thing we will do pretty soon is build a fishing rod, or we'll craft a fishing rod I should say, and fish for food because you can get a lot of fish very quickly fishing in this game. I think it stacks in 20. Oh, so you can get plenty of it in, in your inventory as well. Let's, it does remind you if the anchor's still down, as you saw there. Okay, you don't need to keep pressing the W key to go forward. Once the sails are down, they're down, and you'll keep going. I think they've got the rocking of the ship just right as well. It's actually quite pleasurable to, to sail in this game. Quite exciting when there's a storm. What you can do as well is build a little shelter out from the mast as well and you can put a bed under that. So if, if there is a storm you can still sleep through it. You can still put a campfire on the deck which you know I wouldn't advise on a real ship, especially one made of wood. You know, we'll put some storage chests probably around the edges. And then when we do go out adventuring, we can come back with all our goodies and all our loot. Very nice. It's a beautiful game, this one. I do like the white ship as well. I think when we make a larger ship, I'll definitely make the large ship and I'll probably build onto it as well to make it, you know, try and make some kind of galleon type ship. But I think we'll make, we, you can actually paint in this game as well. You can get uh, pigments and make a paint gun. So we should be able to paint the ship as well. And what I'm thinking with that one is paint it black and, and perhaps make a replica of the Black Pearl. And then we can be Captain Jack for a day. Okay, so I'll get back to our camp, and I'll see you in a moment. Later! Welcome back! So we arrived back at camp just before nightfall, which is great. Let's grab our raft so we don't get eaten by the sharks. So we put the anchor down, so the ship's not going to go anywhere, even in the rough weather. Home just in time for supper. Because this guy's bound to be hungry again, soon. Okay, we'll leave the raft there. Oh, that's nice. That'll make a nice screenshot, actually.
beautiful. Like I said, it's a beautiful game this one. Let's get a bit of light. I stuck a few torches around here as well. Just light the place up a bit. So, okay, so we'll call it an episode there. It was nice to get that ship done. It's always good to get the ship early because it gives you so much freedom around the map. Um, so next episode, I did say we'd explore this island in this episode, but next episode we will explore this island and we will go and find another island as well. And I'll give you some tips about how to find islands. Um, so until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, pre please press the like button. Please subscribe and activate your notifications so you can be informed when the next episode comes out. And I'll see you later.